victims of one October. The hashtag boycott MGM has uh, kicked up. And the, the fact is, is that people are ticked off. Bernadette uh, Conwayan, uh, according to the RJ, a Twitter user says, MGM Graham, please remove me from your players list. I won't be playing at any MGM casino going forward. Your lawsuit against victims of a mass shooting is disgusting. Uh, also, um, but we are uh, getting reaction from various people. Let's see, we've got a CEO of uh, 5WPR in New York, uh, Ron Torosanian. Uh, if we represented MGM, we'd advise them not to comment regarding headlines, which read MGM sues victims. These are legal nuances. Well, you can say it's legal nuances, but the fact is, is that there's got to be a decision when to do it and when not to do it. Ricky Kleeman, CBS News, a legal analyst. Uh, I, I asked her the question. I said, you know, I'm I'm the PR guy. You're the, the attorney. I'm telling you not to do this uh, because you're going to screw over our company. What's going on in that boardroom? Well, I think that was the question in uh, the corporate boardroom, right? You have the lawyer's idea. You probably had the officer's and the board's idea, and you had the PR people's idea. And I have to believe that there was a calculus done of what the potential loss of business would be over the short run. What we have to remember here, Michael, sad as it is to say, yeah. is that memories grow dim. So when there is an incident that is a PR disaster, the calculus has to be how long will it be a PR disaster? Well, it is certainly one now, and as far as I'm concerned, it's re-victimizing the victims. Las Vegas trial lawyer Robert Eglett is joining us. He represents about a thousand of the survivors of one October. Uh, we talked to you. We also, you know, pointed out it was just what last week that we find out there was another guy with a gun pointed at the strip. And we found out because of the lawsuit that you filed. Correct. So, what was your reaction when you found out they're suing? Well. Um I was shocked. Um, I will say that in 30 years of practice, I've never seen something like this done by a client that's so reprehensible. Um, and you're right, and I, I was saying this all day yesterday, uh, and, and this is what I'm hearing from my clients who've been calling, is that you know they're being victimized all over again. You know, they, they lost loved ones. In the one October shooting, where they were shot themselves and they're suffering from, you know, medical issues and trying to recover, and you know, it's only been nine months. These families are still grieving over their lo the loss of their loved ones. These people are still trying to recover from their injuries. Some of them are seriously permanently injured, so they're physically hurt as well as the emotional side of trying to deal with this uh, this event uh, last year. And they're still trying to heal from that. And the next thing, and none of these people, by the way, that the MGM has sued, not one of these people they've sued in these various lawsuits they're now filing around the country. You know, as of, um, as of Monday, it was two. It was one in Las Vegas and one in Nevada. And I heard from the uh, Associated Press last night that they have found that they have sued them, uh, the, the victims in Alaska, Utah, Arizona, Texas and New York as well. So I'm not sure when it's going to stop, but it's, it's, it's thousands and thousands of, of people, I guess, who were attending the concert, who they perceive as potential claimants um, uh, for them. None of these people have filed a lawsuit. They have no pending lawsuits against the MGM uh, or Mandalay Bay. So just so, so people who, who have no lawsuit against them, just in case they're suing them. Yes, all everybody they have sued in these in these federal complaints, none of them have filed have lawsuits pending against them. There's not, they haven't sued them. There's no lawsuit against the MGM pending by these people. This and is so, not a response to another lawsuit. I know I'm being repetitive. I want that out because I don't not think from them. Not yeah. from them. Look, there is a lawsuit that that I have pending where I have uh, several clients that I represent in, uh, in and, and a couple other law firms I'm working with out of California have some clients. We, we total, we have maybe six, eight clients. It's the lead client, the lead plaintiff is named Shepard. It's called the Shepard case. 
case was filed in June of this year in, La- in Las Vegas in state court, and the, um, the defendants removed that case to federal court, and we filed a motion for remand. Uh, that is the only case in Nevada that's been filed. Now, there's three or four cases down in Southern California. There are just one, one individual plaintiff each that's filed them. But the thousands of people the MGM and Mandalay Bay have sued in these federal actions do not have lawsuits pending against them. You are it's a, not a reaction to their lawsuits. This is right. just the MGM suing these people uh, as a preemptive strike. You're you're no lightweight. I think everybody in Nevada knows that you're the real thing. You heard what Ricky Kleeman said, our CBS News legal analyst, that more than likely in the boardroom they figured, you know, in this era of uh, the Trump presidency, where there's this big story or that big story, you know, we've got a news cycle that's going on. People quickly forget. Do you think that that's what they did? They sort of estimated that this is going to be a short term backlash. And, and what's your response to if that is their thinking? I think I think they probably made that calculated uh, decision. I, I uh, and uh, um, I, I think that the public's reaction is going to continue to, to burn on this because this is horrific. You've got, these are victims who by no fault of their own were, you know, shot or killed or shot at, at this, at this concert. And they have not had, they have no pending lawsuits against the MGM. They're just simply trying to recover from their injuries and deal with, and look, some of these people may never sue the MGM, may never have any intention. The, the true statistic is that more than 50% of the people in the United States who are injured or killed as a result of the negligence or wrongdoing of a third party do not file lawsuits. So many of these people would probably never file a lawsuit against the MGM, and yet they're being dragged into this litigation. I mean, I know that a lot of these people who are sued are not represented by attorneys they're going to have to go out and hire legal counsel to defend them and respond to this lawsuit. So just I was, that was my next question. So you'll you'll have some because we're talking about a thousand here you're, or maybe even more now. We're talking about thousands if they've been since they filed these other five lawsuits so around the, the country. You've got some who have ridiculous medical bills and they now have to be victimized again by spending more money on attorneys but because all they did was they went to go see a concert. Right. Exactly. And so the fallout, I mean, the, 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 the path of destruction that the MGM and the Mandalay Bay is leaving in their path by, by this action they're taking of, of suing these victims is, there's, is this compounding the situation for these people? I mean, these people already basically have a house fire going with what they've had to gone through. And, and now the MGM and Mandalay has come around and poured gasoline on it. And cut the fire hose. Uh, what yeah. do you have any kind of uh, legal recourse uh, now? What's your? I know we're way way over, and I apologize for that. But we were late getting you on here, and this is very very important. This is getting bad reaction from around the world. Uh, it should. It should uh, because everybody from around the world comes to Las Vegas. What's your message to to MGM uh, at this point? I know that you have several messages that uh, that you could give in court, but what's your message to them right now? You know, stop stop going after the innocent and and the uh, and the victims here. And, and you know, I understand that you want that MGM wants to protect their money. That's what they're interested in is they're trying to protect their money. But suing these victims is a just ludicrous way to go about it. Do the process right. Wait to see if these people actually sue you, and then defend yourself. But don't go out. So going out and suing these people is just causing tremendous amount of heartache to these people. And 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 quite frankly, I will tell you, I had dozens of calls yesterday, and I I, I said this from the beginning. I think part of this is an effort on their part to intimidate the potential plaintiffs from suing them. And I've had a number of clients who's now have called us and, and expressed reservations about whether they want to go forward with any sort of action because uh, they, they don't want to deal with, uh, you know, being sued left and right by, uh, by this large company who, you know, has a lot of power and a lot of money and, and is scary to them. You're past president of the Nevada Trial Lawyers Association. Are you intimidated? I'm not intimidated. <laughs> I didn't think so.
<laughs> Las Vegas trial lawyer Robert Eglick, keep in touch with us. Let us know what's going on. And if you feel it's appropriate and we can talk to some of these folks, um, some of your clients that I feel like talking, I'd, I'd like to have them on the air. I know most lawyers don't really want that, but I'm throwing that out there that we would love to get their story and their feelings about uh, about what's happening to them. We'll keep that in mind. All right, Thank man. You. Thank you so much. 725. Right. My apologies. Our traffic is so late. Let's get to Izzy Jane. Now.